It's Beckham. Folks, welcome to another episode of Rebuilding Manchester United. If you're enjoying the series and you're excited to see a new episode, hit the like button down below. We will appreciate that. It really does help the channel out. And subscribe if you're new as well to the channel. Down below, social media links, all that kind of stuff down below, down there as well. So today we're on the page of Mason Greenwood because I remember saying, obviously, in the off-camera um, kind of season review of season three, that I was a bit worried about just the right-hand side. Well, my theory, it may be... Maybe I say maybe a big maybe, maybe correct about giving him giving players a consistent run in that, in that area of the pitch. Cause he's played right wing for most of the season. Zanello's not played at all. Injuries mean he's been getting knocks occasionally as well. It's also been an issue, but he's been playing a lot more position, a lot more, a lot more out there. He's got five goals and four assists, so that is quite good. Obviously, hopefully that continues. Um, but yeah, I mean, just, it's it's encouraging, but it's not definitive. Speaking of encouraging, games of camera, not so much performances, but results have been very, very good. Beat um, Villa by four goals to three, and this was a game which makes me, makes me miss 4-4-2 formations, to be honest with you. 1-0 with Erlingham with the goal. I'm really just talking what scoreline was when they go and shoot each other goals. But this game was one of those matches where, just, you know those certain players that this is just cause you so many problems? Again, Lombard, this guy, Butnick, was an absolute nightmare. And this Villa team are very, very good. Um, again, you can see uh, half-time 1-1. But again, it seems to be like just... Every single team we're playing against is playing great football over the top and we're just defending poorly. Um, even the games we won this season, we've not played well in many of them. Um, but that, that brilliant guy is incredible. Um, Russia goes inside here, base pace, finds a pass to Bruno or a shot. I'm not going to show what he did there. I'm not, I'm not going to show he knows either. But again, on board the pitch, we don't redo really this very well. Again, direct ball over the top. I have actually dropped the uh, team back a bit recently because we're just getting done with these balls in the space. Um, I don't know if that, that was an issue early in the game, which I think got patched, but I don't know if it's an issue or just my, my tactics causing problems. Ball far post, Rashford heads it in. I've lost track what the score is right now. Um, so many goals in this game. Um, again, poor play passing there by both teams, but we've benefited from them on that occasion. That's just full on goal. Lovely little finish in the back of the net. It was a great result for us um, against Villa, but it just seems like this team just is incapable of dominating the game for 90 minutes and playing well. And that game against Villa, Villa should not win that game, should not score three goals based on the amount of shots we had and possession we had, but it seemed to be not a lot of attack. A lot of counter-attacking game. We did beat Spurs by 7-0. And this was... I was sat there just stunned. That first goal, I thought, was a side win because he didn't show the, the thing at the bottom. Uh, I was stunned by this. I thought, where has this come from? Uh, all of a sudden. Obviously, I'm showing a bit faster because there's the seven goals to get through here. Um, and we generally just blitzed them in the first half. And I, I, at one point during this game, I checked the keeper... Make sure we don't have some kind of weird youth keeper in there, but no, apparently he's a first choice goalkeeper, so apparently he's just crap today. Um, but 7 0, I mean, you can see the goals there. You know, it, 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 I was sat there literally like this going, What? When I saw this, because I was like, What is going on here? Um, but it was great to see seven goals get scored, and it's just, it's just absolute domination and um, clinical finishing, obviously, first half. All the goals were scored in that half, and the second half we didn't play anywhere near. But scoring seven goals in the first half, Rashid Har Rashid and Harlan eventually doing 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 it. Um, it was great to see. We then went to um, City and beat them two goals to by two goals to one. Um, it, it was an even game, and I think the scoring was a sort of correct. Belting strike from Bruno Fernandes there to belt one in for a magnificent goal. But it was just it was a weird match because it felt like both teams could have won it. Both teams played well. I don't think one team played better than the other, and it was, and we had two great wonder strikes in there. So it was a great game to watch. But it was like I thought. I, I thought I draws would be a fair result, but I'll take one against City. 
We then beat um, Limp Lane 1-0 in that first Champions League game. Haaland with a goal from a corner, keep making it 1-0. And we dominated the first half, and then all of a sudden they had one attack in this game. And again, you can see just defending again, just not beating the man, and again, pull Mark in the middle. Defensively, we are all over the shot recently, and I can't put my finger on what it is. If it was certain one type of goal we can see it all the time, I'd be able to work it out. But it seems like it's just generally just shit defending. But Gaze Green with the far post, getting a deserved winner for us in this game. Um, we would better team that one attack really of note in the whole match. Again, it shows that they had four shots on target, but you can look at the stats. 27 shots, 13 on target for 2.45 goals expected. We deserve to win that game, but defensively, we look nervous every time a team comes forward against us at the moment. We then beat Chelsea 3-0. Again, a goal from a corner. Back, I think it's a backward header from Greenwood, actually. Now I'm now looking back, back, at, back at it again. Um, we were good in this game. I'll say brilliant. Probably, is, well, watch this. That could be goal of the season. You don't see um, the build-up uh, play he did it also during, for the for the attacks we did as well. In a great, in a great game. So I'm going to go to Arezo here. Shotgun goal saved. Forced with Rashford pops in for free. Second half a bit of non-event. They they, they they were a lot better. But this was the only game I think actually I actually think the performance level for 90 minutes was actually very very good because we got the free two goal lead. We didn't get slack. We kept it tight and we got a third goal then to finish it off. How we beat Westbrook Jarby in this game, I have no clue. They went, they went, they went ahead with a goal, deservedly after the early start. They which, I mean, I didn't make a lot of change this game, to be fair. Good ball to Son, down to the left-hand side here. He gets the ball in the box to Arizio Matthias gets his first Manchester United goal. But we were absolutely battered in this game. We were second best of the whole match, and late in the game, literally in the 87th minute, uh, or 88th minute, ball in the box, there's Pogba, falls to Greenwood, and fires it in for 2-1. We stole this win. You'll see the stats in a minute, how dominant Westbrook Jarby were. Uh, I mean, yeah, how we won that game, I have no clue. But I suppose if you can't play one win, I suppose it's a good thing you've got that in you, I suppose. Right, folks, um, we have a bit of an issue here. Um, as you can see, I'm on the Madrid game. I'm going to do one, ga I'm gonna do one game, I'll tell you why in a second. Um, because Essentially, I recorded the first, because I recorded videos in like two different parts. The first part with the games of camera and the first live com, and the second part is a two, is a second, is a second episode second video with a second second live come on it's just the way i do things it makes things easier to edit rather than you know i, I, I know when the video is and i can work out what you know what i mean so i finished against liverpool literally what i do after, after every game live come i do i, I hit the save button so that's the game you always say the game ended and i and once i do the team talk i end the video stop, stop, stop recording on that section save the game and then move on in the time it took me from hitting stop recording to then hitting the save button Thank God they didn't do it when I was saving it. Power cut. So the video is fine. This is the first half of it. The live comments have been missed. So the only way to... And basically it means my save, my auto, my auto save, is right before the Liverpool game. So the only way to get that result back in the game back is to play it again. And I might win that. Um, unlikely. But I thought... I don't want to restart, redo a game. I don't like doing that. So what I did was I loaded the game up again. I hold it over this match and we lost 2-1. Um, so the result was 3-1. I lost 3 last time. So it's, it's close as I can get it to what happened last time. So rather than just restart and then maybe benefit from it, I just didn't feel, I just didn't, I didn't feel comfortable doing that. Now, guys, let me know in the comments, actually, if that happens again, what are your thoughts on that, me, of, me, of me redoing the game? Um... I think I've done the right decision here. I think it's only fair because I did play the game legitimately and put it through and I don't want to get another crack at it because obviously I would, I would change my tactic based on what I saw. You know what I mean? So that's why I didn't continue that game. So we're just going to do the Madrid game today. Simple reason being that this probably going to happen again. And I want to get this episode, episode recorded so I do apologise. Not my fault. I don't mind apologising for it. It's the power company. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to restart the game and kind of like, I've had, a, I've had one go, see what they do. And then, you know what I mean? It just felt like cheating, but not really cheating because it's not my, my choice. You know what I mean? So I just gave myself a 200 feet there. Um, I was never going to go for a draw or anything like that. So, yeah, disappointing. Imagine if, imagine if I won that game. It'd been hilarious. So we did now, guys. One game only. So we got Haaland injured for that game. Um, now, obviously, Haaland didn't get, Haaland didn't get injured in, in the last game. Um, but... I have to, I've had to get the result I, I get. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll see how long it takes to get this, this, this game done. I might do two live cons, but I think to do the one today, just because I'm mentally a bit far and thrown by all that. It kind of made such a mid full episode. Um, we've got nothing to lose here. I mean, Madrid away from home, we've not played them yet. 
Um, oh wow, it's even safe. It's even safe that because I obviously. Um, wow. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is a bit shit situation, really, isn't it? But what can we do about it? Nothing, nothing we can do about it other than to say, unfortunately, it happened in that game. But he's not really affecting anything. We still lost the game. So let's go, folks. Hopefully, we can get a win against we did here. At least a draw. But we're not we're not playing well overall. But hopefully, we can put performance in. Hazard. Down the right side. Is that? I can't pronounce this guy's name. Um, Match gets across. Odegaard was a target for me, but couldn't afford him. Oh, offside. May, not amazing first half, but this is actually a bit encouraging that we've not actually seen any chances in this game, which is a downside better than what we've done recently. Rashford, again, I, I'm not really used to playing this guy at his up front yet, so I'm not sure, quite sure what he's going to do. But then again, <clears throat> well, we're not many chances, we're not quitting any either, which is also very worrying. Uh, very worrying, unfortunately. And we just. We, I'm trying to get the balance of sitting deep and not... I explained it in the Liverpool game, <clears throat> what I'm worried about. Um, I'm, if, I go, if, I, if I go high press and high line, we get done with balls over the top. If I sit deep, we can't get the ball off them. I can't get the balance right. Um, great balls from our shot and the defender's not marking him properly there. Good. Again, just, just bo it's balls in space, we just don't move with them. And that's the thing I'm noticing. Both setbacks are just not alert on the defending area. And we look at the goalkeeper, um, the, the coaches... Um, we can get a goal here, we can win this, um, but we're just not performing well. We've had a lot of big games in a row, though, and we just need to get a bit of a break um, from them because it's just a lot, massive game, and the game's gone for a goal there, I think. Um, but yeah, it's not a most exciting game, but hey, what can you do? We did on that side. That's too easy. That's too easy. Uh, that is just way too... You can't let him run through like that. You've got to get that ball off him. And then how he's scoffing that angle, I have no clue. One no way Madrid probably deserved this amount of play. But this is the, uh, this one talk about. This passive defending is what I'm seeing. That's really... Look at this. He gets the ball and Rashford just lets him run past him. He doesn't even try and get across to stop him. And then he fires into the far post. And they deserve that goal. But just not offered anything going forward. Big games. We just don't, we've seen him struggling. I don't understand. Oh, that's a penalty. Oh, free kick. Oh, he's off. He's off. He's off. Big games, we just seem to not be able to dominate the games. We get results in recent games, as you saw off camera, but big games on, on live comms don't go our way, and this is game over now. Um, right, I wish I, one thing I'd like to do right, right, is when he gets a red card, show this screen rather than the list, because it's easy to read to see things. This my, it's a bit of a thing I'd like to see. Um, don't know what to do here, other than just take off Fernandez. And then put Melito right back. And make him a fullback defend. And he can be a bowling 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 defender and defend. Uh, but yeah, it's just one thing that's another one like comes in it at the moment in big games. Because of a free kick, because it's short, and we get it clear. It's been a very poor game for us, but that's not surprising given that we've bad beat beat got beat by Liverpool two days earlier. Corner kick for Liverpool for um Madrid. Cruz curls it in. And I don't care, down 10 men, he should be marked in that penalty area. Well, Hazard, it's it's a very bad result for us, but we're down to 10 men, so I can maybe give him a bit of, bit of slack for that. Uh, I'm going to do the second live come, guys, because it's been a very short video. It's very short. Um, and I, don't, I, think, I don't think you should suffer, suffer from live come. But this is what it's been like for, for weeks, this kind of football. Again, against 10 men. Everyone passing it around with everyone free, and we're not marking anybody. I mean, obviously, it's free. We're, we're waiting for a blow whistle. But 1 0 against Man do with 10 men is not a bad result overall. But this is ridiculous. Just fill it with it. Ball whistle. There's no reason to keep this game going on. And again, passive defending. And that's full time whistle. They deserve that win. They deserve it. They should win by more basically by 10 men. But I don't understand why his team can't defend at the moment. Um, and why we're so passive. And why everyone's so knackered. Regardless of what we um, do to rotate the squad. But if we had if we had eleven men, we made them something. But ten men, we had no chance. We really, did we? Right, I'm going to make sure I save this. Right, so here we are, folks. Match number two. Oh, hopefully going well um, <laughs> with the powers that be with the whole internet thing. Um, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what to do with this team defensively. I think de defensively we're just all over the shop. Um, Hallam's back, which is great. Some can, some wants to look up by the way by request. Uh, I forgot to mention that. I gave these guys a rest as well uh, for three days, no training at all. Then the last day, I did work on conversion and creation just to try and create some more chances and score. Um, to try and get the first back in the team. Back, back in the team. Um, but yeah, we're not in a great place right now. 
even in terms of general performances, though we have played a lot of big teams, so there's that factor as well. West Brom Charbin demolished us in that game off camera, which did make the video, obviously, because it was, it was said before that. Let's see if we can play better this time with the full strength team out. Uh, but we're not in a great run of form, and my worry now is that we have a situation like last, last time when we had, back in the last year, when we had level two games and we were on a big, massive down spiral of form. Paul Torres finds Rashford. Cuts inside, get out of his way. Rashford runs on the right, right hand side, finds Haaland by, 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 by accident, not, 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 not design. Great ball, Rashford for and goal. Rashford with a chance. Goal! Manchester United won. West Point shall be a nil. And it's Marcus Rashford with the goal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I will take that. It's a great ball from England. Is it Tellez? Who just. How did he. I was convinced he was offside, Rashford here. So look at this again. Probably gets the ball out wide. There's Tellez. Oh, it's a great bit of ball and great bit of movement. And Rashford makes it 1 0 against West Point Arbion. I will take that to the bank. I believe in Thank you very much. 1 0. Where's that? Throwing now to towards Gancelo. Bruno Fernandes. Because in five posts was Rashford. Manchester United 2. West Point Arbion 0. And it's fully, fully deserved. Um, Rashford's 10th goal of the season. He's got more now than he had whole last season. Um, great. Um, performance so far first half we should have got more we should be two up already Buffon is nice little turn thinks it in there's Rashford far post Manchester United 2 with Brom nil. they dominated us in the game game we played them off camera but today we we dominated them great great performance first half and now Mason Green's got an injury <clears throat> which is not great um, because I don't really have a right wing on the bench unfortunately I missed, I missed up there uh, this is now a problem um, yeah, it's a massive problem actually because I don't have a clue who I'm going to play in that position. Um, at all. Um, I mean, it's just matter who I play there, it's gonna be a fucking problem, isn't it? Um, though, actually, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm gonna pick Bruno out there. He, he can sort of play out. He can sort of play that role. That's not, that's not, that's not bad as it. To be fair, yeah, you have to do what it. And then we just play. Um, we switch. I know. I can get to the main screen. Let's switch these two around. Actually, no. Keep the roles the same. Actually, the position's the same. Make him a box to box. Make him a Mazala because I think, think probably I think probably does, think if I remember correctly does, he prefers that side. Bing Carvinga on. It's not great having Bruno out there, but it's not terrible. We are, but we are 2 0 up, though. So hopefully, it's not going to be an issue for us. If we if Bruno scores a goal from the right wing, I'd be absolutely amazed. Cancelo. Benton Kerr. Camavinga. Go on, Cancelo. Beat your man. And he's got a knock, though. He's done. Again, that tackle. How many times have been to that? Four times I've been to that tackle for us. Can I get a bit of space? As a shot. Oh! Pick that out. Manchester United 3, West Bromwich Albion 0. What an absolute thunder strike from Kamavenga. I mean, can I say that, that tackle, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how many times you've seen it, but that's happened so many times, that exact kind of action. But what if Kamavenga, that is 3 0, and this is exactly what I need to that the game. And hopefully now it's kick, we can kick on from here and go and get one of the form. Whip ball. Oh, no, he's not, he's not getting that. Mina's got the ball down the line to Zaha. Just engage a bit earlier. Get the ball off him now. Oh, just again. Again, I don't know where my fullback's gone. Benton Kerr gets across there. I'm going to take this out again because I think this is one of those things where the, 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 the structure's not quite right. Yep. This is weird, right? Because I need to check this because I'm noticing this happen a lot. Every All three positions are fine, but the left back seems to be marking the wrong P person. Um, it's, I need to check that out of the game because I think there may be some kind of mistake I've put on the tactic there. So I'm going to say, delighted, keep it going because I want to get some morale back into the team. But it's the big games, which were the big games against Liverpool we're struggling in at the moment. And we did, we were poor, but we had the man sent off for half an hour. So, you know, we were in the game until that point. Takes it forward. How long should win that? He does. Finds Rashford. Well done. Rashford. Just, there we go. Bit of, bit of belief. Goes for goal. That's what I'm talking about. That moment there. That, that's the difference between Rashford 
and some of the players in this team. Harper. Lito does well there and does very well to get it back again. Now, can he get past on the line to somebody? He can to Haaland. Haaland's got space to run now. Just run it, mate. Oh, what a ball that is to Bruno. Bruno, wait, across to Rashford. This could be been 4 or 5, maybe even 6. Well, this has been a great performance. Um, even with our right hand side completely dismayed by out people out position, we've done really well today. And we might, we might get a clean sheet as well. Um, and, and as well to go. And we have got a clean sheet. Manchester United 3, Great Smoke Charlie being 0. Um, great result for us. Um, clean sheet. Very good win. We played well. I mean, we weren't perfect, but, you know, based on after two defeats in a row, I just want to get a win. And we are okay. We just need Liverpool to not be insanely good. Um, that's what we need. Cancelo is out for one to three days. Green out for one to three days. Not too bad. 13 days off until the Brighton game. So let's look at the fixtures, guys, next episode. Again, I apologize about the Liverpool game. It out of my control. And for fairness of the series, I didn't want to restart a game and maybe change the outcome of the of the result. Which could which could infect the title race. Um so let's look what's on the what's what's coming up. Um so one, two, three, four, five. Shall we come back for Schalke and West and West Ham and Watford? That seems like a good amount of games off camera. After that, we'll have to see what happens with the obviously the final group game there might be a mute point. So we might have to not do the Arsenal game and just do like maybe Sheffield United and Wolves after that. We'll see what happens with the games off camera in the Champions League before we get when we get to that point. So uh, thanks for watching, folks. And in the league table, we are what are we what are we six points behind Liverpool. It's not bad, is it? We if we get well, technically, yeah, technically we go goal difference. We got a better goal difference than them, but that's not you know. But our two defeats against Liverpool and Bournemouth. Liverpool game, I can understand that, but Bournemouth game was a really bad one. But we're doing all right. We, we, we've had a really tough run of fixtures. Um, we've had like Villa, which are uh, we're we're Villa in the table. Oh, well, they were higher on the table before, but they've dropped down a little bit now. But we had, like, City, Tottenham, Lyon, Chelsea, Liverpool, and Madrid. And we've got two defeats out of those games. I will take that. Um, I think, hopefully, now we can get a bit of form going with some decent games compared to what they are. But we've got to win them. We've got to win them, though, we've got to win them though haven't we? So, if you enjoyed, if you enjoyed the episode, and I hope you have, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.